A beautiful girl is sitting in front of you. She turns around as if attracted by something and stares at you when you look at her. She's quiet. You want to get closer to her and ask what she's thinking, but she doesn't answer. All you can see is the shimmering pearl earring in her ear. Whether you are an art lover or have no interest in art, you must have the impression of this painting, Girl with a Pearl Earring. This masterpiece by Johannes Vermeer has captivated audiences for centuries. But why is a girl with a pearl earring so famous? Why does it stand out from so many historical portraits when it doesn't look extraordinary at the first glance? In this video, I will analyze the medium elements and the context of the girl with a pearl earring. The composition of this painting is simple but attractive. It is asymmetrical but achieves balance through the girl's position. The girl is positioned against a dark background that enhances her luminous presence, looking toward the audience. The slight turn of her head and the placement of the earring draw the viewer's focus to her captivating visage. It's hard to tell if it is static or dynamic. She might just stare at the artist or turn her head to interact with the audience. In the painting, the artist uses sparkling pearl earring to combine scattered areas, such as the girl's bright eyes, delicate lips, white shirt collar, and dark space behind the ears to form a vivid hole. Whether it is a pearl earrings on a girl's ears, the head scarf clothing, or the face, all those things are depicted by both distinctions between light and dark, which not only achieves a precise and delicate expression of the painting, but also dazzles the picture. Vermeer is known for his frequent use of the costly pigment. In Girl with a Pearl Earring, he uses lemon yellow to draw the clothes, indigo to draw the headscarf, and carmine to draw the lip. The yellow clothes, indigo headscarf, and red lips show the combination of three primary colors. Lemon yellow is a very high profile color, but when combined with the calm color indigo, it makes the whole painting look harmonious and quiet. In the mid 17th century, under the emerging capitalist system in the Netherlands, Society gave the people more democracy and freedom, just like spring rain reviving the earth and awakening all things. This also allowed art to eliminate the shackles of religion and the court, becoming more widely oriented to secular life. This change enhanced large quantities of oil paintings to establish a monument for the middle class and beautify their living environment. Based on this creative atmosphere, Painters no longer focused on expressing royal and religious things. They focused more on depicting life details to cater to the aesthetic taste of the bourgeois. Vermeer is one of the representative artists in this time stage. In the past hundreds of years, people kept guessing who the girl with the pearl earrings was. Someone thought it was Vermeer's daughter, and some said it was his maid and her mistress. The truth is not that important nowadays. The mysteries would be more charming when the answer stays uncertain. The girl with a pearl earring captivates us in the silent dialogue with the past. It will forever ponder the unspoken stories behind her gate. Thank you for watching.